Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com, uh, joined by Justin Rogers. Day five, I'm already starting to lose count. Yeah. Day five is camp in the books uh, here in Allen Park, and today was the first day of pads, Justin, which was a little bit different. Um, you know, practice has been kind of intense, I feel like. Um, you know, we've seen guys taken to the ground in some collisions, even without the pads. They added the pads today. I didn't see too big of a difference in terms of intensity and collisions and all that, but we did see some changes. I know you were watching that. Yeah, I 100% agree on the the intensity. You know, the Wayne State yeah. practice in particular, there was a lot of a lot of uh, shoulder pad popping there, and and I thought once these pads came on, we'd, we'd be seeing a lot of big hits, but uh, pretty quiet today. Uh, one thing I did notice today, they were doing a lot of work with these turnover drills. They they took the defensive groups, broke them up by their units into four groups. And, and they worked on four different stages of turnovers. They had two where they were trying to force fumbles, one with the defender chasing the receiver from behind, the ball carrier from behind, another one stripping them from up front, uh, working on scooping up loose balls, and then a, a tip pass drill where uh, one coach would throw a pass, the second coach would, would tip it up in the air, and a charging defender had to adjust that tip. There was no consistency to it. So they're really emphasizing, capitalizing on, on opportunities when they do come. Um, I also saw the quarterbacks working on drills a little bit more than I had today. Their footwork drills, um, something I was looking for uh, with with um, a drill. I'd seen Peyton Manning run with four bags and the quarterbacks weaving and, and back and forth, bouncing on their toes through it. And, um, you know, it's it's good to see that they're getting more work in with the quarterbacks in that, that regard. Yeah, I've liked what I've seen generally from Matthew Stafford. Um, you know, he's uh, he's had his moments where he's not on, but I think more often than not, he's been sharp. Uh, he's been plagued by drops. That probably sounds familiar to Lions fans after last year. Um, and we've talked about that with, with Ebron and so forth. But I've liked what I've seen from Stafford. Um, on, a, on a sour note, at the end of practice today, it was a two-minute drill, and it, it was a, a disaster for the offense. And, again, you don't want to read too much into these things, but it was... I don't know, I think they had three or four reps. They didn't score on one possession. They went backward about 20 yards or so. Um, and Stafford on one, one, uh, in, in one sequence was sacked, sacked, and threw one away. So that, that's about how it went. And so, I, I, you know, obviously I, th I think the, the, the defense is maybe a little bit ahead of the offense, at least in, it looked like in that two-minute drill, and that's a, that was something I thought. It was a bad way to end practice, I thought, because it was a pretty sharp practice, uh, but the offense looked sloppy at the end. Uh, the first team especially. The, the second yeah. team had a little bit better of a two-minute session. Um, they, they didn't start off very well either. Uh, got drove back a couple yards on uh, a couple penalties. But then Dan Orlovsky hit back-to-back -back passes, uh, hit Corey Fuller, got behind yeah. a defender, then then hit Jeremy Ross for a long touchdown. I think they, they ended up with a, a field goal for the win in the, in the second session. So the second team looked good. First team, just no dice. Brandon Pettigrew yeah. was the only one getting open, and that was a five-yard route. No good in two-minute drills for sure. Yeah, the first team offense didn't score in the two-minute drills. The second team did score on a, on a field goal from Giorgio Tavecchio, and we've written quite a bit, Justin, about the inconsistencies in the kicking game and how concerning that is. So it's only fair to point out, today the kickers were very consistent and very good. They were 11, 11 for 11 total. Um, Tavecchio hit six of those, and, and Nate Fries hit five, no misses, and, and I thought that was important to point out today that you know there's, there's a positive sign of what's been a, a downward uh, trajectory for the, the kickers. Yeah, I think that's 11 in a row for Tavecchio dating back to the, the Wayne State practice as well. Yeah, um, good point. And those guys were, were kicking long field goals today too. They, they both attempted 53-yarder, uh, cleared the crossbar bar with ease for sure. That's what we got. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow morning, Saturday morning for practice, I believe 10.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, for Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Meinke. We're MLife. Keep it right here.